All FMGS friends, I hope you people are doing great. I hope you are fine and healthy. As per the recent announcement of NMC, the next exam will be in January 2024. So basically, you will be having one extra month. So from now onwards, we can assume that there will be 60 days. So this is really important to understand the best planning and a strategy for next two months. Before I emphasize on planning and a strategy, let me answer some of the frequent queries of medicals. See all these queries. See, these are the queries of FMG aspirants. First question, sir, I am not able to recall whatever I have learned. This is a very common question of so many medicals. My dear friends, do remember you have been studying for last four months. So you have already completed the first phase of exam preparation. You are done with the first phase where I can expect that you have completed all 19 subjects minimum for two times. First time you have completed the subject with the help of your faculty and second time you have done complete revision with exam. So when you have completed 19 subjects for two times in last four months, obviously it will be very, very difficult to recall each and every point of all 19 subjects. No problem at all. This is common with everyone. This is common for all the students. Now, the most important thing which you should keep in mind that now you have entered the second phase of exam preparation where you have to do the revision minimum for two to three times again. Now, second phase of exam preparation is going to decide your score. So when you will start revising now, now it will be very, very easy for you. Now you can easily recall each and every point. So no problem at all. You can start the revision as soon as possible. Next question. I have finished all 19 subjects, but don't know how to revise. Okay. Related to this question, I will be explaining in detail how to make a perfect plan and a strategy. Third question, I have completed only 14 to 15 subjects. How can I pass the exam? If you have completed 14 to 15 subjects, that's great. But please do not leave any subject. The remaining subjects which you could not complete, please do at least rapid revision. Solve at least old questions. You can do great. Don't worry. Next question, can I do only rapid revision of all 19 subjects? No, only rapid revision will not be helpful. Rapid revision is shortcut. These days, FMG questions are clinically integrated. So you should know the concept also. Please revise from the same notes which your faculty have taught. In this manner, you will be having more productive revision. Only rapid revision will not be supportive. How many mock exams are sufficient before the final exam? Minimum six to eight mock exams. So these are some of the common queries of all medicals. Now let's understand it further. Now, what are the general instructions to follow? First of all, you have to complete all 19 subjects and you have to do the revision minimum for four to five times and solve the questions minimum of 500 from the short subjects. Short subjects means psychiatry, radio, ortho, anesthesia, forensic and skin. So from each psychiatry, 500 questions, radio, 500 questions, ortho, 500 questions like this and 1000 questions from all the major subjects like surgery and medicine. So this is the basic criteria. Mock exams minimum six to eight. Now the question is, is it really important to complete all 19 subjects for four to five times? Remember, no one can become master in all 19 subjects. And you do not have that much time. This we should know here. 19 subjects should be completed at least for one time. Minimum I'm saying. But you have to be the master in at least 14 to 15 subjects. You have to do great 
in 14 to 15 subjects. So now I'm going to give you the basic strategy, how to do fishing, how to score more, from which subject you can score more and more. Okay, now see these subjects now from where you are going to get the maximum questions. First of all, surgery, obsgyny and pathology. After that, PSM and then Optha, ENT and pediatrics. These seven subjects are extremely important subjects. And of course, medicine, medicine maximum score see here when i talk about these eight subjects how many questions will be coming if you see these eight major subjects you are going to see 190 to 200 questions 190 to 200 questions only from these eight subjects so if you can revise these eight subjects minimum for three times out of these 200 questions you will not be able to score 120 also you can easily score no i can easily say that out of 190 to 200 you can easily score 120 marks very easy to understand only out of these eight subjects which you can easily revise you have enough time now even if you have to spend more three days for surgery Please invest your days. Yes, it's worth, completely worth. Because these eight subjects are going to fetch you 190 to 200 score, right? So easily you can score 120. After that, look for these short subjects. These are short subjects, which you can revise in very, very short span of time. And you know, psychiatry, radio, orthopedics, anesthesia, forensic, and skin. Out of these six small subjects, easily there will be 45 to 50 questions. 45 to 50 questions. See, from these short subjects, you will not be able to score 30 marks. Eh? So with the help of these eight major and six minor, you are going to pass. You are going to score 150 marks, 150 marks, remaining anatomy, physiology, microbiology, pharmacology, and biochemistry. These are bonus. These are fixed deposit. Now after 150, you score how much you want. Very easy to understand. Now when you are going to categorize these subjects in this manner, now it will look very much easy. Remember, eight major subjects, you have to revise minimum for three times. After that, six small subjects, you can easily revise minimum for two, three times. Right? After that, for anatomy also, for micro also, for pharma also. So basically, how many days you are supposed to invest here? Let's see this point. For surgery, if you are going to spend three days, you can easily revise, no? Three days. Obsgyny three days, pathology three days, PSM three days, ophthalmology, ENT and pedia one one day will be enough, right? Medicine yes four days. Even if you have to spend four to five days for medicine, please spend. You have to invest your days here, right? So see these eight subjects can be revised in nineteen days, nineteen days. And what about these short subjects? one one day each subject psychiatry and forensic anesthesia and ortho right so now when you are going to do the revision now one day will be enough for every subject yes radiology you can take more than one day also no problem you can invest more than one day also no problem at all after that these non-clinical subjects for each of these subject remember here minimum two two days two two days you can invest see here out of these five pharmacology questions, keep in mind, pharmacology questions, they will be asking approximately 17 to 22 questions. Pharmacology. Microbiology, minimum 15 to 20 questions. 15 to 20 questions. Biochemistry, 
ये सेवेंटीन टू एटीन क्वेश्चन और मिनिमम फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन बायोकेमिस्ट्री दे आर नॉट आस्किंग डायरेक्टली बायोकेमिस्ट्री विल बी मोस्टली इंटीग्रेटेड विद पीडियट्रिक्स एंड मेडिसिन आफ्टर दैट अनाटमी यस अप्रॉक्सिमेटली फिफ्टीन टू सेवेंटीन क्वेश्चन से यर अनाटमी दीज डेज दे आर नॉट आस्किंग डायरेक्टली डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ अनाटमी विल बी ओनली फाइव और सिक्स most of the questions will be clinically integrated with the surgery with orthopedics with radiology with ent with opta everywhere anatomy will be there right so whenever you are learning surgery please revise anatomy at the same time whenever you are revising eye ophthalmology please revise anatomy of eyes first because one anatomy question of eyes will be there for sure one histology question will be related to eye it will be there whenever you are revising ent please revise the anatomy of ear nose and throat very very important right in the same manner physiology will be integrated with medicine so now see here now in this manner whenever you are going to revise see 19 plus 6 25 days and last 12 days see now As per the number of days, nineteen days, six days plus twelve days. See, whenever you are going to add, yes, you can finish all these subjects in thirty-seven days. Now, for every day, you have to plan like this. See here, fifteen plus nine is strategy. Nine is seven plus two. This is number of hour basically. Seven hours you have to sleep. Six to seven hours you can keep like that. Two hours for miscellaneous activities. But every day I am telling you, fifteen hours you have to study. Every day fifteen hours you have to study. Very very important. You should know this part. So. As per the subject, as per your planning, you can divide the number of days. And now, overall summary of last sixty days. Minimum you have to do two to three times revision of most important subjects, most strongest subject of yours, fourteen to fifteen subjects, right? And do remember last fifteen days. last 15 days you have to keep separate you have to do final revision last revision in last 15 days 6 years of mbbs is separate 4 to 5 months of this duration is over last 15 days will be the last revision remember here very very important how much you have learned before how much you have learned so far okay that is fine but how much you are going to revise in last 15 days only that much point will be there in your mind in the examination room you will be able to recall only those points which you have done in last 15 days so last 15 days please keep it safe in last 15 days you have to revise all 19 subjects this will be very very much important for you very very much crucial and remember here 6 to 8 mock exams weekly once now you should understand here what is the mistake students are doing here students will write their mock exam but they do not review where they have done the mistake write mock exam as the serious exam and after writing the exam please analyze yourself how much you have scored you have scored 150 or 170 or 180 okay you have done mistake in 120 questions no please review take the print out of explanation of 300 questions this will be very very much supportive for you fine so writing mock exam and reviewing the questions will be most important so in this manner if you are going to plan okay this will be very very much supportive please remember here that how to do this kind of revision you can revise all these with the help of test and discussion with the help of rapid revision and keep in mind last 15 days should be separate should be safe should be 100% safe for your final revision so if you are going to plan in this manner this is going to help you a lot i wish you all the best and please keep in mind 2 months are more than enough to pass the exam i wish you all the best